Well, if you were watching tonight's debate, you know both vice presidential candidates covered a lot of ground tonight. Our investigative team was digging into the facts every step of the way. Investigative reporter Natalie Chuck joining us now. Natalie, how did the candidates fare tonight? Well, you know, guys, they, to their credit, both did make a lot of true statements, which is a, a good relief for, I think, a lot of people watching at home. But to be fair, there were a few we did find to be false. Former President Donald Trump's tax returns have been a point of contention for years. A point Governor Tim Walz made sure to bring up in his first debate as a vice presidential candidate. How is it fair that you're paying your taxes every year and Donald Trump hasn't paid any federal tax in the last 15 years? That is false. A 2022 release of former President Trump's taxes show he filed federal income tax returns from 2015 to 2020 and paid federal income taxes in four of those years. The former president's name was mentioned many times throughout the debate. His running mate, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, while discussing the Affordable Care Act, had this to say about Trump's role when it comes to the ACA. And he saved the very program from a Democratic administration that was collapsing. That is also false. ACA enrollment declined by more than 2 million people during the Trump presidency, and the number of uninsured grew by more than 2 million. According to the website PolitiFact, the Trump administration cut millions of dollars in enrollment aid and asked the Supreme Court to overturn the law. And earlier in the evening, we broke down more statements by both candidates. For more fact checking, just head over to Denver7.com. All right, before we let you go, Natalie, uh, ostensibly the purpose of tonight was to get to know J.D. Vance and Tim Walls. Right, absolutely. And it's hard to tell right now if that happened, right, right. Tina and Jessica? I mean, undeniably, there was a lot of names coming up that were former President Donald Trump and Vice President Kamala Harris. Really, that dominated the conversation. It felt like both candidates were sort of acting as attack dogs on behalf of their running mates. So I don't know about you guys, but aside from a few facts here and there about their personal lives, it's hard to tell if people at home really feel like they got to know these candidates any better. Again, like everything else, I guess we'll find out in November. Mm -hmm. yeah. Natalie, thank you. Thank you guys.